Good morning, warriors. Where'd you write it at, Brittany? Oh, I see it. Hey. Hey, Veronica. Hi, Tanisha. Hi, Randy. What y'all up to today? Hi, Trina. Hit the share button. Y'all so sweet. Hit the hearts. Uh, Brittany. Yes? We got some things to type in this morning. We do. <laughs> Hi, Janice. Yeah, we, do. <laughs> we need to type in our information for Collins and Vicksburg. Our t-shirts. Birthdays. What else? Our hearts. Heart. Which I love too. Hey Vanessa. Hey Fatima. Oh Fatima. You had time to say good morning. What are you and Jalen up to this morning? Hi. Is it Calopy? Our our sister from down under in Australia. Did I pronounce your name right? What time is it in Australia? Hi Tish. Hi Angela. Hi Stephanie. Ah, oh, Veronica, you're amazing. Hi Avis. Uh, Vanessa said, hey, Kelly, good morning, Kelly and Britt Britt. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. hey, Sandra. Sandra, where you been? What y'all up to? Hi, Valona. How you doing? Hi, Brian and Pamela. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tabby. Hi, Debrina. What are y'all up to this morning? Hey, Angel CC. What's everybody up to? How's the fast going for those of you who are fasting? Hey, Keisha, today is our corporate fast. For those of you who aren't doing the 21-day fast, hopefully, maybe, possibly, you could join in on the Wednesday fast that we do from sunup to sundown, which is liquids. So that's Wednesday. Um, remember, earlier in the year, I committed, and then you guys joined in with me that we would do it every Wednesday. Um, thank you, Shanine, for that weather forecast. 61 in Philly, 78 high, warmer with clouds and sun. Fought this morning in a shower, thunderstorm, and spots this afternoon. Really feels like 80, precipitation 40%. Ooh, thank you. Awesome. Uh, Veronica said, Good morning, Brit Brittany. Good morning. Good morning, Elizabeth. Taya, good morning. Nikita, hey, Nikita. Hi, Crystal. Crystal, did you get our email? Uh, we want you to keep the other shirt and bless somebody with it. Okay. Let's give God some praise this morning. All right. Oh, good. I'm glad the fast is going well, Debrina. Make sure you hit the share button, y'all. Father, we just thank you this morning. You're so good to us, Lord. We're excited to come together with you once again, Father, with the Warrior Nation, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Just standing before your throne, just giving you glory and honor and reverence for being our God. Holy Spirit, we ask you to have your way today. Uh, our ears are open and inclined to your instructions. Give us hearts that are willing to obey. Lord, we thank you that there is a praise on our lips because you deserve it. And so, Father, no matter what we're going through today, we choose to shout anyway. We choose to bless your name anyway. We choose to rejoice anyway because you alone are God and you are good. Your mercy it endures forever, God. We just honor you this morning, Father. We thank you that today is the day in which you have made and we shall rejoice in it. We thank you for keeping us safe through the night, uh, just protecting us from all catastrophe and calamity. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for all provision today. We thank you for favor today. We thank you for breakthroughs today. We thank you for deliverance today. We thank you for the grace to sustain us through this fast today and through the remaining days as we prepare for Ada. And we thank you for the miracles that will follow us all the way to Ada and in Ada and after Ada. Father, we just thank you. You're the God of the supernatural. Nothing is too hard for you, Father. And so we just rejoice in the goodness of who you are today, Father. Have your way on this video. It belongs to you. We belong to you. We just pray that we are vessels fit for your good use. You are our master, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for the privilege and honor of serving a true and risen king. Have your way this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Good morning, warriors. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's give you the forecast. It is 6 o'clock sharp. God is good, huh? Let's type it in and say, Lord, you're good this morning. Just tell God, thank you. We um, Today we're going to be in um, Daniel 2, only 20 through 23. Pass me my iPad, Brittany. And, and I'll get back to it in a minute. But um, I almost skipped over it. Like, I read it, of course. But I almost skipped over it. And then God reminded me that how important it is to just praise him. And so we're not gonna, we're gonna stop right there today on just the fact that after Daniel after the dream was revealed to Daniel and the, the the secret of King Nebuchadnezzar's dream and the interpretation, Daniel began to rejoice and he began to rejoice even before it was confirmed with King Nebuchadnezzar that was indeed his dream. And so I just feel like the Holy Spirit wanted me to remind everybody today 
just like we're standing on Mark 11, 24 for Ada, uh, I shared that with you guys on Monday. Those of you who tuned in on Memorial Day is that the scripture we'll be standing on and the scripture I'll be teaching from on the night of miracles in Ada will be Mark 11, 24, which is basically when you, anything that you ask in prayer, if you believe you will receive it. It's like, that's exactly what happened here in Daniel 2, 20 through 23 is that, you know, Daniel believed God. He got with his friends. And they prayed and they believed God for the revelation of the secret of King Nebuchadnezzar's dream. And when God gave it to them, um, he didn't wait until King Nebuchadnezzar said, yes, that was my dream. He began to praise God in the midst before there was a confirmation from man. He began to praise God. And so that's what we have to do. I just felt like God wanted us just to focus on that today, those three verses. And just the fact that we don't have to wait for the manifestation of the promise. We can shout now. We already have the victory. It's like before we even see the manifestation of our healings or deliverance or breakthroughs or whatever it is we're believing God for, we owe God the praise right now for being our God. And so I'll get back to that in a moment, but just go ahead and just type it in. Today is a day of praise. We will be praising God all through this video today, uh, typing in, Lord, you're worthy. You know, we give you hallelujahs and amens because he's so good. And we don't want to get so caught up in our prayer petitions that we forget to praise God. And so God was like, today, this is what I want you to focus on. And so we'll get back to that in a minute. But let me give you a weather forecast. But you can type that in, Father, you're good. Lord, you're good. Your mercy endures forever. There is none like you, Father. You alone are worthy of my praise, of my adoration, of my worship, of my gratitude. You alone, God. You're the source of all things. And the more we get into our spirit and the more we get used to saying those things, the easier it's going to be. And, we, and then you're just going to see the benefits of praising our true and risen king. Uh, right now in Jackson, Mississippi, I hope I can read Brittany's writing because she wrote this. Uh-oh. It is now 66 with a high of 83, a low of 68. Scattered thunderstorms again? Uh, 50 degree, 50% 50 chance, I'm sorry. And the winds are coming out northwest at one mile per hour. Sunrise came up at 5.54 a.m. Sundown at 8.02 p.m. So, y'all, somebody asked me why do I give the weather. Because I want to. <laughs> I just think it's fun. I mean, can we have a little fun? I just do it because I want to. Like, there's no other reason behind it, but I enjoy it. Okay, so with that being said, that's the weather forecast. Um, this Saturday, I will be in Collins, Mississippi. So if anybody's in the area, you want to come out. Uh, it's a women's conference, so ladies, they're laughing at me about the weather. But it's true. I just want to. Like, do I have to have, like, a concrete reason? Just I just want to. Um, so <laughs> maybe I always wanted to be a meteorologist or something. I don't know, but I enjoy it. So this Saturday, I'll be in Collins at 1 p.m. That's Central Standard Time uh, at the Collins Civic Center. Brittany's going to type that in, but it'll be this Saturday at 1 o'clock in Collins, Mississippi at the Collins Civic Center. And then on this Sunday, I will be in Vicksburg at the Faith Christian Center, which is 1100 Main Street, Vicksburg, Mississippi, 39180. Uh, that's at 5 p.m. So we have that's like a, a a whole worship service there. So it'll be men and women there. So Saturday I'll be in Collins at one, and Sunday I'll be in Vicksburg at five p.m. So you guys pray for me. I know the Warrior Nation has my back, so no worries there. Um, I got on my t-shirt again. This is the bling tee for Ada Night of Miracles. Make sure you're getting your shirts. We're getting down to the wire, y'all. Come on and order these shirts. Just a few more days on these shirts. Um, so Brittany's gonna put that in. And then I have to give a testimony about Shania, and then we'll jump back into the word because I don't have a long word today. Um, but Shania, so if you guys can recall, and make sure you hit the share button. If you guys can recall, we took a trip to see who was it. It was me, Veronica, mm -hmm. Brittany. Was anybody else? Mm -mm. All right. Me, Veronica, and uh, Brittany, we took a trip to Dallas a couple months ago. Um, to pray for Shania. She is one of the ones we've been praying for on the page. Uh, Shania was diagnosed with, she's been battling with this since she was 12. She was diagnosed with lupus and then in turn those meds led to um, the kidney damage. And so she has been on dialysis for a while now. So so she's 15, uh, lupus and renal failure. And so we took a trip to Dallas. Her mom is a prayer warrior. Her mom had been messaging me for months before I actually realized, got hold of the message just soliciting prayers for her daughter. She's Shania is so precious. So uh, for those of you who 
are new to the page or newer to the page so you kind of may have missed that story but anyway it's for Shania and so we went we we went to Dallas we went to the Children's Hospital in Dallas and we prayed for Shania uh, CBS News followed the story um, they followed the whole thing videoed the whole thing and it was just a beautiful thing and we just believe God for Shania's healing well Shania's mother has updated me to let me know that uh, Shania had not been home to Mississippi. They are actually Mississippi natives, but she had not been well enough to travel for three years, y'all. But in the last 30 days, they have been home twice. Um, Shania is now urinating on her own six times a day. Uh, uh, her numbers have improved uh, dramatically. And also, um, she's been sick for like three years. And like just recently, it's like her body is back to doing what a woman's body is supposed to do. And so even her body and her reproductive system and all that has regulated again after three years of not that not being so. And so God is the God of miracles. Uh, we believe that Shania is going to be completely healed and delivered. But just that update, just it just confirmed that God is with us and that miracles really are following us. So Shania is a lupus warrior and God is healing her body. And so we're just ecstatic about that. That trip was not in vain. Uh, God was with us and he is healing this do this young woman. And so we're excited to stand with her family today. Shania, we love you. Shania listens to these videos every day. So we love you and we're going to see the full manifestation of your healing. So I just wanted to let you guys know that these prayer trips that we, that we are making are not in vain. That God is moving uh, on the behalf of his people. Because when he finds people that will believe him and take him at his word, there are no limits in that. Lastly, if today's your birthday, happy, happy birthday. We love you, birthday warriors. Um, uh, Warrior Nation, give our birthday warriors a birthday shout out today. Make sure to get your t-shirt. And now let's go into Daniel 2, 20 through 23. A lot of people, I, I don't know, I don't want to uh, like overly saturate talking about the t-shirts, but literally people still message me every day and say, how do you get the t-shirts? People say, I've been asking for weeks and I just can't see how to order the t-shirts. So we have to keep posting the link. So those of you who already gotten your t-shirts, thank you. But the reason why we're continuously posting is because a lot of people still say, I will not tell them how to get the t-shirts. So I have to keep saying it. All right, with that being said, um, thank you. Let's go into Daniel 2, 20 through 23. Holy Spirit, have your way. This will not take long, beginning at 20. Uh, this is after the Lord reveals the secret of the dream to Daniel in the night. And it says, Daniel says, praise the name of God forever and ever. For he has all wisdom and power. He controls the course of world events. He removes kings and sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. He reveals deep and mysterious things and knows what lies hidden in darkness, though he is surrounded by light. I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors, for you have given me wisdom and strength. You have told me what we ask of you and revealed to us what the king demanded a couple things i want to point out there daniel says i thank and praise you god of my ancestors for you have given me wisdom and strength type it in this morning father i thank you for you have given me wisdom and strength that's something we need to be praying every day and thanking god for father we thank you this morning for wisdom and strength father we thank you this morning for wisdom and strength he says, you have told me what we ask of you, confirming again that God does answer prayer and reveal to us what the king demanded. So what stood out to me there is us. So if you remember, when when the guy came to let Daniel and everybody know they were going to be executed, Daniel was like, whoa, what's up? What happened? Uh, give me a moment to talk with the king. And his request was granted. We talked about on yesterday how King Nebuchadnezzar had a nightmare, couldn't remember the dream. So he basically called all the magicians and astrologers and all these people, to, the enchanters, to come and not only interpret his dream, but to actually tell him what the dream was, which I say was very bold. All the magicians and astrologers, and everybody was like, that's impossible, King. We've never had anybody uh, request this type of thing from us. That would be impossible. That's only for the gods, gods being plural as in idol gods. But when the message came to Daniel uh, that they would all be executed, everybody would be executed because these people could not produced what the king was requesting two things i mentioned yesterday was the fact that daniel was not included when the king sent for all the wise men even though daniel was 10 times wiser than all the other men in babylon oddly he was omitted from coming before the king in the beginning to give the dream and the interpretation and i talked about it yesterday how it may seem like you're being overlooked but you're not 
It's just a matter of time. God will pull you up out of the ashes of obscurity. He will bring you to the front. You can type in, I'm coming from the front to the back. You don't have to force your way. God is going to move you from the, I'm sorry, from the back to the front. He's going to move you from the back to the front. So when, even though Daniel was not requested in the beginning, he was going to go down with everybody else when, when the decree went out to destroy all of the wise men in Babylon, which is weird. He wasn't asked to come before the king, but he's going to go down with everybody else. But when the word gets to him, he didn't trip. He didn't freak out. He said, I need a moment with the king. And it was granted. So he basically asked King Nebuchadnezzar for a little bit of time. Goes home, gets with his friends. You know, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. He says, look, we got a situation. Let's go before our father and pray that God will reveal the dream to us. So even though my point is, Daniel was the primary person praying. Uh, he's the one that God revealed the dream to and the interpretation. He had the prophetic gift. Yet, if you notice, in 23, he says, you have told me what we asked of you and revealed to us what the king demanded. It's like when God gave Daniel the answer, he knew to include his prayer circle. The whole point is when we go up, we cannot forget those who helped us get there. I tell you guys all the time that what God is doing in my life would not be so would, had it not been for you guys being right alongside me, lift me up in prayer, uh, helping me. Just You guys mean so much to me, and I don't just say that. You are my prayer circle. You are my family. I used to kind of dread and be a little nervous when I would do these videos in the morning. What am I going to say? What am I going to call? Blah, blah, blah. Now it's like, look, I'm excited. It's 555. I'm joining with my family this morning. You guys are truly my family. And it's like Daniel did not forget Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah when the Lord revealed the dream to him. Please don't forget those who have labored and toiled with you. Those who have came along beside you in your weakest moments and prayed with you. Not laughed at you, not gossiped about you, but those who literally put their faces to the ground, prayed with you fasted with you, believed with you for real, and wanted to see you make it. When you make it, please don't forget to reach back and lift those people and bring those people alongside you. Daniel's making this perfect example when he says, you reveal to us what the king demanded. He could have said, oh God, you're so faithful. You revealed to me what the king's dream was. He says, us. And I love that, that he's showing community and that he's showing that nothing that we do can be done alone. My whole point in all of this is that Daniel did not wait to go back before King Nebuchadnezzar and to reveal the dream for King Nebuchadnezzar to say, yes, that was the dream. Instead, when God revealed the dream to Daniel, he rejoiced. He shouted right then. He praised God right then. God, who is the fountain of all knowledge and all power. So same thing for us today. That's the whole message. We don't have to wait until the battle's over. We don't have to wait for someone to get to get man's approval. When God reveals something to you, y'all, we just hold on to it and we thank God because he is the source of all knowledge. He is the source of all power. He lifts up one and brings down another. And he loves community. He loves what we're doing. We get together and we pray and we believe and we testify of all the amazing things he is doing in our lives. Or when we're weak and we can say, look, I'm weak today. Can somebody please stand in agreement with me? Or I have this going on or that going on. God loves that because we are acting like brothers and sisters are supposed to act and so god honors that so we want to make sure that we are always giving god praise no matter what no matter what it looks like we have to know that when we ask in prayer and we believe we will receive that of which we have asked daniel made the perfect example when god gave him something that truly the world would have thought was impossible that's the message for today father thank you thank you god and that god will continue to give us secrets uh, he says it in his word that he will reveal things to us that otherwise we would never know. Such benefits to being a child of God. And so we want to stay in that position. I want to really encourage you guys, if you're able to fast, I don't. if you didn't start at the beginning, y'all, don't miss this fast. If you're able to, please join in in some capacity on this fast. I'm telling you, this fast is taking the warrior nation somewhere. We're going to pray. It's 615. I do have one more request um, from you guys. And I just feel this is day five. Uh, of the fast we're doing 21 days to aid us so this is day five of that i'm so excited the excitement is brewing in the air miracles of people are testifying i have an amazing testimony to share today about a lady who bought her t-shirt it's awesome but the more i the longer this fast goes on i feel strongly in my heart uh it came to me a while back but now it's really heavy and that the night of miracles i feel like it's going to travel i feel like it's going to maybe become a tour like we're going to hit all the major cities in the united states before it's over and even go abroad overseas i don't know when but i just feel like that's in my heart is a strong desire and i feel like god has placed it there and so i'm asking you guys to just join in with me this morning i need you to link your faith up with mine because the world needs revival 
Brittany and I paid, prayed all last year that God would send revival. And that's pretty much how Ada came to be. I felt it in my heart that God wanted us to, to bring a revival. And Ada happened to be the place that he chose based on how we connected with Avery Anderson, our precious Avery Anderson. And so I just, and if y'all are with me, just type it in this morning. I'm with you. We want to see this thing travel because we want to see God's glory reign in the earth. God still heals. Uh, he still performs miracles. He still answers prayer. And I just believe that God is going to do this. But I need your faith to link up with mine, with ours, the team, and that this will travel. I can't say when, but I do believe that it is going to travel. I believe we're going to hit the East Coast, the West Coast, the UK, Australia, Brazil, Peru, uh, Swaziland, just all these places. I just believe that God's going to do it. So I covered your prayers this morning uh, that you would join in and say, hey, I'm with you. We want to see this thing travel because we want to see the hand of God move throughout the earth. So that's my prayer petition this morning. Please touch and agree with us this morning that God's will will be done concerning this matter. So thank you for linking up with me on that. And let's just give God some praise and we'll close it out for today. You guys are so amazing and I love you so much. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for this fast, those of us who are participating. Thank you that today is our corporate fast, Father, that you would give us the grace to finish and finish strong. Father, we thank you for the night of miracles. We thank you for the many more nights of miracles, Father. We thank you that it will travel, uh, God, according to your will and according to your schedule and your plan. And Father, we thank you that people who did not believe will believe because they see these miracles, signs, and wonders that are following us. Father, I thank you. Even Shania, when she visited her hometown of Greenville over the weekend, Greenville Mississippi, people were astonished at her healing. And those who did not believe began to believe because they know what she used to look like and they're seeing what you're doing in her life now. And God, we just thank you that there will be the testimony for many, 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 many more that they will see us and they will know that we have been with you and that you are still a healer. You are still a way maker. You are still a deliverer. You're still the God of breakthroughs. Father, thank you for the example in Daniel that we can shout right now. We don't have to wait for confirmation from man, when you give us a thing, you reveal it to us, God. We can hold on to that right now and we can praise you for it. So, God, this morning, we just want to praise you. We just want to bless your name. We just want to exalt you and thank you for truly being a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. And, God, for every warrior who sets their alarm clock and wakes up with me every morning, God, please bless them. Please allow miracles, signs, and wonders to follow them. Father, we're getting all kinds of testimonies where people are getting just unexpected checks in the mail and debt cancellations and healings. Father, let it be even the more. Confirm your presence even the more. Validate your presence even the more among the warrior nation. God, let there be so many testimonies testimonies father that we're just flooded with them god and we just thank you that we will continuously give you the glory and honor that you so rightfully deserve father we thank you this morning I ask you to go before the warrior nation and make every rugged path smooth every crooked place straight and bring every high place low favor them enlarge their territories give them wisdom god thank you for balanced judgment insight secrets reveal secrets to them lord place your righteous right hand upon them and push them into destiny i thank you father for those who are fasting that this fast will be the fast that will catapult them into destiny. I thank you for this morning. I feel that strongly in my spirit. God, before we step out into this dark and perilous world, we armor up with the better truth around our ways, with the helmet of salvation, with the breastplate of righteousness. Lord, we wear sandals of peace. We carry that shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, which is your word. Let it forever be hidden in our hearts. We thank you for this morning. And God, we thank you for Avery Anderson, for her life, that she's doing an amazing missions work even now as she is being healed and restored. Father, for Jordan's strength, we're not going to stop praying. We believe that you would turn the situation around and use him as a mouthpiece to bring you glory and honor. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful Shania. You're doing a great work, Father. We thank you uh, just for the miracles and signs and wonders that are following her, God. Thank you for healing her, for healing her kidneys, God, for healing her immune system, God. Thank you for regulating her reproductive system, Father. We just thank you for her life this morning. For baby Tonto and baby Mariah Grace, God, just be with them this morning, Lord. For baby Gabriel, be with him this morning. We thank you for your healing power. For our precious London, Father, we call her healed in the name of Jesus and Father for the life of Monica Sykes that we will not forget the yellow hearts God we post them in her memory and Lord we thank you that even now you are strengthening the hands of her mother Regina Sykes God the petition of the prayer words this morning if you have not typed in your petition just type it in quickly before we close out this video Lord as the petitions of your people are coming in this morning unashamed realizing that who we are praying to is the source of all things you hold the answers to all of our prayers god this morning as these petitions have come in we thank you father that you 
are answering our prayers in a way that will bring you the most glory. But God, we make a decision today to worship you, to bless your name, to magnify you and exalt you even before we receive the manifestation of the promises that you have made to us. We, re we rejoice now, we shout now, even before we receive the tangible answers to our prayers because we trust in you and we believe in your word according to Mark 11 and 24 that anything that we believe when we pray, we ask for it, we will receive it. We thank you for that this morning. We honor you, Father. We declare that today will be an amazingly great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Okay, warriors. What you need? Okay. Okay, warriors. Love you so much. Make sure you order your t-shirts. I love you guys so much. And just meet me here in the morning. Y'all are awesome. Have a great day. <laughs> you trying to type that in, Brittany? Yeah. Let me get Brittany a couple seconds. She's trying to type in the address to uh, Collins and Pittsburgh. God, you're awesome. Thank you, Father. Let me know when you're ready. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. We'll just praise God. God, we just thank you this morning. <laughs> there is none like you, God. You're so worthy of our praise, God. We just saturate the atmosphere with just praise to you. Oh, God, just adoration and gratitude, Father. There is none like you. You are so good to us, Lord. Thank you, Father. You never forget the promises that you have made to your people. So, Father, we just thank you this morning. Lord, we just love on you this morning. Lord, thank you for your angels that you're dispatching even now, God, to just encompass the warrior nation. God, that they are protected from all hurt, harm, and danger. Father, we thank you this morning. If we had a thousand tons, we could not thank you enough for your goodness, for your faithfulness. Father, you bring us through time and time and time and time again. And so we just thank you this morning, God. We bless your name this morning, Father. We bless it. We thank you, God. We love you this morning. We just want to say that we love you. We love you, Father. We love you, God, with a love oh, that never fails. God, we love you this morning. God, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Hallelujah and amen. Okay? I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus.